<laughs> we've got a superstar in the studio with us and i'm excited for your growth i mean i say this almost every time and i mean it you yeah. see um the industry that we are right now people look for the downfall of you know musicians more than their rise mm -hmm. and more than their growth and even their successes and so when people like you you know still know where you find yourself mm -hmm. And it doesn't bother you you still want to keep doing what you do yeah. organically you're making yourself relevant i am excited about stuff like that and congratulations to you thank you um i watched the video of the something dance KMJ and I, I think that i've not you know, introduced my kmj had to rehearse you know all he's saying he rehearsed it really? what kmj is doing is if you start somehow mm. yes no 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 Mm. Oh, yeah. So, uh, don't mind her. <laughs> She's a bad influence, like I said. So, well, we'll do the dance before, but, um, Rosalind. Oh, oh, have you, have you, have you, have you, you rehearse this line. You go ahead. Have Sorry. you heard about the song? Uh, yes, I have heard. Oh, I do, you heard know, do you know the dance that comes with the song? I'm yet to learn it. You do don't you know, know how the how dance? To do the, the dance? Ah, Came to the especially the dance. Oh, shoo, you know. That party killed me. I was watching it yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. you like that. Yeah. You see that one? We will play the song together. Yeah, then we'll do it together. Mm -hmm. But I mean, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about this journey now. Yeah. Um, at this point that we have got into, um, what are some of the things that really reflectively, if you look back and all the things that have happened, you know, it, it makes you feel like you're really moving in a pace that you want to move in? Yes, yeah, so I will start off by saying it's been a minute since I dropped music. It's been actually coincidentally it's been nine months oh, is it? since i dropped music so i had to do a lot of work behind the scenes i felt i needed to grow with not just myself but with my sound as well mm. so when i went quiet a bit i was doing a lot of work i was recording so many songs i i used to actually watch videos of myself to, oh. to know like every video that i have that's online i literally watched every single video to know what I need to change about myself, what I need to improve on, my stage performances, yeah. my lyrics, the way I compose my songs, even with the production of the song and all that. So there's been so many things, ups and downs, happiness and sorrows. There's been so many things that went down. So whenever I, I used to see online that, uh, Jackie's being lazy, why is she not dropping music? I'm like, baby, you do not know what's going on. Mm. <laughs> I, I like that, baby. Baby. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. The will always come like that. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, but one thing is music creation, good music creation comes with a whole lot. Yeah. You don't just like, you don't just wake up and put something out. If you really respect the people that listen to your music, yeah. the people that buy your music, if you respect them, you would always make sure that whatever you are bringing out is the best. Mm. And if I want to bring out the best and whatever I'm doing, I'm not satisfied. I'm not going to rush to bring it out because I'm being pressured to. Mm. So I was working on my EP. I will record a song, we'll select the song for the EP, then we'll change it again because I'll record something better than the previous one. So I finally got it done. I've recorded all the songs for the EP. So the EP is supposed to come really soon as well. Okay. Yeah, but at the moment it's the single that has come out, which is something. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever feel pressured when people were, you know, at your doorstep that they needed a song out? Yeah, at a point, I wouldn't lie. At a point, I felt like, wait, it looks like everybody's actually saying, should I just like bring out what I have? So sometimes you just feel like, let me just bring it out. But at the same time, I keep like telling myself that nah, if it's not the right time, I'm not supposed to let me my pressure enter it. Mm, mm. So when we talk about <laughs> right time, what is right time? Do you give yourself like a time frame and say maybe in the next one year before I'm releasing or in the next two years before I release? Do we have a particular time frame? Yeah, sometimes it's actually planned. But for this particular project, we we just wanted to make sure that when we know that this is these are actually the collection of songs that is perfect for the drop that's when coming out if it wasn't going to be this year i'm telling you our, we weren't going to rush to drop the ep until we hear the sound we want to bring out okay yeah because if you listen to the ep you're supposed to understand the fact that the jackie on the first ep which was the cdp is really different from what is on the second EP in mm. terms of the production, the lyrics, the melodies, everything I spoke about. You can see a huge difference. So we just kept recording. Until my manager is somebody who is also very picky. So if we are not hearing what we want to hear, the change, the songs were not going to come out. You know, I'm definitely going to ask you the change we should be expecting. 
Yeah. Because if you're comparing with the other one, we had this soul vibe, we had this, you know, um, emotional kind mm -hmm. of vibe. What is the vibe? I'm still, I'm still the emotional soulful artist. Mm -hmm. You are just going to this, the, the differences in the production, in the lyrics, the way the whole project was put together. You, you actually see a huge difference between this very one. Okay, and I'm then, hearing my mind day for you. Mm -hmm. So what lyric am I going to hear with this one? Um, no, no, <laughs> not in terms of that, but like what I'm trying to say is this particular project is very deep, even mm. with the content that's coming with it, like is, is very, very deep. And okay. I'm very, very excited. Even mm. me, myself, I can see a huge difference. I even sound matured on this project. Oh, I sound okay. like oh. when I listen to this project and I listen to the CDP, I feel like I sound like a baby <laughs> <laughs> on the CDP. Yeah, so, yeah. This, let, this let, let me ask you this. Your growth was like that. Mm. You know, you know what I mean mm -hmm. when I say that, you know, because, you know, it was like with you, you were you had your songs out there, but Ghanaians were struggling to relate to it. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, Ghanaians started laughing at it. Mm -hmm. You know, what was the strategy that you made or you, you put in there that got Ghanaians to just love you in a twinkle of an eye? Because it took a while. Yeah, yeah, it did. And um, one thing is hard work actually really pays. Yeah, and then good music always speaks for itself. So these two came together. I I, I never, I'm, I'm the type of person that will, we, we actually had sleepless nights in the studios every time. Yeah, so we did a lot of work to push everything. And then we also made sure that we're always bringing out good music. Mm. And so if you hear the song and you like it, you're definitely going to tell him. He's going to tell the next person. Yeah. And then it keeps going like that. Kim, you have a question? No, I, I, I wanted to um, ask about, uh, you took time, you know, as in when you were still trying to record mm -hmm. and all that, you took time to visit a few countries. Yeah. You saw how things were, you know, operated over there and all of that. How did that contribute to the new baby that you've created in terms of your experiences with all those places? Yeah, so, you know, because um, Forever blew during the lockdown period, mm -hmm. so I didn't get the chance to perform around the world. So um, during that, the period where I wasn't really bringing our music, I was also taking advantage of that time to also play shows outside, as in like the spare times that I had. So, I mean, I got to learn meet different people, different cultures, got to taste different foods, but none of them beats Ghanaian food I choice. And then, yeah, I got to like, you know, whenever you get into a different environment, your ideas, your creativity yeah. changes. Yeah. So yeah, I picked a few things from some of the, the shows I played outside in. Hmm. You guys are not ready for this <laughs> evening. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, on that note, we just want to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll talk more to Jackie. Do stay with us. Actually, one of my favorite tunes, one of my favorite. I have to take my tea because um, my throat was just doing me shakara, shakara, shakara this morning. <laughs> Jackie's here. Shege. Shege. It's one of my favorite. I was asking you who Thank wrote you. the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, I wrote my verse and then D Black wrote his verse. Yeah. She's so talented. Yeah. How old were you when you wrote your first song? I was uh, like six, seven. Yeah, six. I was six. Six years when you wrote your first song. Mm -hmm. Were you were you singing in church then? Um, no, when I was six. But uh -huh. when I was like in junior high, secondary school, once in a while, like I just like sing in church. Okay, yeah. all right. So that was gonna pop up. I mean, from a music background. Yeah. It might take time you to actually interested. come, but it was still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But your first song was it a, a gospel song? No, the, my first song was about toughies. Oh. Yeah. Do you still remember the song? Yes, it's called Lollipop. <laughs> Lollipop. Sing a bit of it first. I was about to say, please don't tell me. Lollipop. <laughs> please. But do you remember the lines though? I do. Oh, well. yeah. Sing a bit yeah. for us. Just a little bit. Just a line. Making some lollipop. I'm on my... Oh my God. <laughs> I was trying to make everything rhyme, everything pop, 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 Oh, pop, pop. so we're just oh, popping. it's nice, though. Yeah. yeah. You should drop it. Yeah, I, it's actually, like, in my list. In your list, One yeah, because I think it's... It's not bad, it's yeah. I mean, I like, I like the pop, We already have pop. a song, Lollipop, Lollipop, yeah. so this would be good as well. Yeah. yeah She's I got like a Lollipop, it. she's so hot. You know what I'm saying? You know, So wait, wait, put your name on Yeah. So she will feature me, so I'm rehearsing. Uh -huh. <laughs> she go feature you yeah. for what song? I'm coming with a rap. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming with a hot rap. Hot one. <laughs> hot rap. Ready. But Jackie, you know, um, people are of the opinion that when you went into Nigeria, that's what helped your career. 
do you agree with that? It was it, it helped as well. Not mm. gonna lie, it helped as well because um, the people in that country were looking forward to see me in person. So when we got there in person, it just like made the love for me grow bigger. So yeah, it did help. Mm. As well. So are we going to see you in Nigeria more? Um, I don't know why people always like just want to tag Nigeria. I, yeah. I actually do promote my song in different countries. When I went to Tanzania, I did the same thing. Yeah. Okay. When I went to the UK, I did media tour mm -hmm. as well. The same thing. I'm going to continue in other countries as well. Okay. But I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, I will go there again. Okay. To All right. Again but well. but it's, it's bigger in Ghana. Yeah. Because we, we just love you. No. And you know, one thing again is that, you know, we, we really wanted more female musicians in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And you broke it. You broke it for us. I must say it. Truth is truth. You know, we had the likes of Afia. They were taking us out there. We had Irene Logan back then mm. taking us out there. And then Jackie came on board. And, you know, people also believed that, you know, she won't survive. But Jackie is just making the hits like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you are. I'm looking, no, at, you're, you're, I'm looking at their faces like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's an, it's an incredible journey. And what's your secret? What, has, what, what, what are you doing uh, to make sure that you maintain that level that you are? Everything draws down to good music. I will always say, like, good music, you, there's, you cannot run away from it. You know, there are people like, there are artists around the world that maybe you've never seen, you've never even seen their picture anywhere, right. but you, you, you can actually like die over a song that you've heard from them. That's how powerful good music is. So, so far as I'm doing good music, I feel like it is going to be for eternity. It's not going to fade. And your songs never die. That's the beauty about yeah. your songs. You, you know that about yeah. it. If we play forever today, it's, it's, still, it's like it's still it was released yesterday. Like that. Yeah. I mean, all your songs are like that. Ken, do you have a question? And I, no, I'm, I like the emphasis on good music. I mean, she's repeated that for mm -hmm. about three times mm -hmm. or so. And it, it's, it's difficult when you're speaking to people who are in this industry and they don't even know how to qualify the kind of music you're doing. Mm -hmm. For them, it's just because the fans want it. Yeah. And so if it even has to be in a hurry, they want to give that to them. But I mean, throughout the conversation, you've seen the consistency in, in yeah. telling the story of good music to make sure people get to yeah. understand where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. understand? So I'm not surprised that every moment, you know, every single, every art she puts together actually speaks to yeah. the kind of people she wants us to speak to because I mean this is an artist who believes that I'm just not doing music but I'm just doing I'm doing good music. Yeah. So I'm 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 grateful, you know, that this journey has been such an incredible one mm -hmm. for you and I hope that it continues like that. Yeah, the fact you. that you take Definitely. your time to bring good stuff. You understand? Like I was I was talking about something for example. Mm -hmm. um, it's so smooth. Like we're listening to even the one that like the verse you just did on this yeah, uh, the on black the song, you know, yeah. it's so smooth, and that is you. You just doing you from the inner side, and so yeah. it's something that is commendable. And I think that you're you're on the right path. So he's, we should just keep pushing. definitely on the right path. I mean, I I know Jackie. Jackie's like family to me. Yeah. You know, and I remember when the journey started, and uh, I, I saw, know. that's what I keep saying that switch mm. because Jackie didn't sleep. Jackie was working hard. For those who don't know, uh, who think that she just got up and she she became a star overnight, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like that at all. You know, she was traveling from Kumasi to Accra to meet with people, to talk with people, to make sure that they play her songs somewhere, denying her of interviews because they didn't know her. And I think I need to have you in my documentary. I really, I really, I really, I really, I really speaking really about that, facts, facts. speaking about that, I, I saw a tweet about Ken USD. Well, they said yeah. they didn't want an artist to, they didn't come to watch an underground yeah, artist the perform first or something like I've that. Yeah, ever performed on like a big stage yeah. on campus. That was that time I dropped the Lula Love is Pretty, so I went on stage to perform. And then when I started singing the song, the the microphone went off, the speakers weren't playing again. I was like, really? Did you people have to follow me here? The house, the house witches, did they have to follow me there? So yeah, they started like, you know, sending me away from the stage. Oh, man. I know how that feels, mm. you know. I yeah. think I commented and I said that now who's smiling to yeah, the banks now? Yeah, I, I saw that you know? as well. And I, I, it's good you didn't give up because she you couldn't were, have. Going with she this, couldn't have. You know, she right? could. Do you still get in touch with Fifi Coleman? Because I mean, when I yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. We you know, Fifi was one of the first people that oh. interviewed her. Yeah. Oh, great stuff. Yeah. And, um, Fifi was here a couple of weeks ago. He didn't turn you down. 
Yeah, actually, he didn't. <laughs> but you know what? We love you. So, right? and, we, and we love something, right? What? Something. No, we love something. Uh, we, yeah, love we love something. something. Why? What was your mind? <laughs> she got what, confused. What, you what were you thinking? I'm not talking <laughs> about planting trees. you said you love something, you didn't look at me when you said it. You okay, actually love the song yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You love something. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, you're uh, jealous. What's going on? You, you're uh, jealous. What's going on? What's going on? So, um, I, I'm going to be the... the I'm going to introduce this to you. You don't have to hold it to introduce. Give it to her. She'll sing it. Then you just do the introduction. Uh, okay. I was thinking I was the <laughs> no. new artist of the no, year. No, you are not. So introduce Jackie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a new hair. And it's a danger. And uh, it's something that we're looking for something in something. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to do that song right about now. Yeah. And for those of you out there who are catching feelings with it already, I mean, I saw tweets on social media and I'm like, okay, so there we go. I, um, there's a lady that actually tweeted at me today. It was in relation to the song that I posted about Jackie's new head. And uh, she also said something. I'm going to look for it and read it. And uh, she said, yes, yeah, she had a, a, a hit song already or something like that. I read it. And uh, before that, let's take a listen to something. We'll look at how it all came about. There's all of you looking. What's the meaning of something? But we'll, we'll get there. So, Jackie, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be the new one featuring on the song now. So when it yeah. gets to my partner, you tell me. Okay. Ah. Then I'll go boss partner. Okay, okay. You see? That's fine. Let's go. Rasta. <laughs> uh, please jump, jump and jump and let's take it away. Hey, oh, 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 Charlie, Who's you are blessed, man. Blessed. Dance. Oh, big shout out to DWP Academy. Ah. There's a, their dance group in Ghana, the best, ah. the ultimate best. Mm. They, cho dance. they choreographed the, 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 the whole dance. dance. It's so yeah. beautiful. And let me ask you this before we go. Do you actually let your father listen to all your songs before you give it to the world? Um, sometimes he listens to um, most of the songs that I have, the unreleased ones, mm -hmm. yeah, and then he's a fan. He's a fan of all the songs, so... Yeah, but you know that it has been approved by FDA. That's, <laughs> That's one. right. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. All right. So, Jackie, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having Super me. Super grateful that you can make it. A very nice way to start my morning. Yes. I love this interview. Thank so you much. so much. You're going to have a great day. She came on time. Mm -hmm. Not all the musicians are coming on time. It. She, look, she's, she's never late. Never, yeah, she's I mean, never late. I mean, she, even if she's flying from Kumasi, she's never late. And, and it's a good thing. I yes, love it. Never, you know, yeah. she's been on my show a couple of times and she's always showed up on time. And I think it's a good thing, you know, so you should keep it. Keep it up. We love you. Love you too. There's something, something. Right, I'm Go check it out. <laughs>